Blessed is our God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you, heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, who are present everywhere and fills all things. The treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon of peace, an invincible standard, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications. Gracious and all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox commonwealth, preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only Blessed One, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Savas and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's upon your people. Be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life's a total mockery, and there's no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who rendering evil for good oppose me when I sought but justice. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. And you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. 
Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choicest fare and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of the jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of the liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, uh, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, on your ear to my plea, O oh Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your pillows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me lose them to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead? Or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O oh Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distance from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances so wretched am I. O oh Lord, God of my salvation, Day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far as the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we were only made of dust. A man, his days resemble grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, on every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not into judgment with your servant, 
since all of the living, none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord. My spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear, your, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Sabas, the Honorable Presbyters, the Deacons in Christ, and all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and all those in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves to one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Sophus, to salis, anadixas, 
καταπέμψα σ' αυτή στο πνεύμα το Αγίον και δι' αυτόν την οικουμένην σαγηνεύσας φιλάνθρωπε δοξασί. Blessed are you, O Christ, our God, who has shown forth the fishermen to be most wise by sending down upon them the Holy Spirit. And through them you drew the world into your net, O merciful one, glory to you. in peace let us pray to the Lord have mercy help us save us have mercy on us and protect us O God by your grace Lord, have mercy commemorating our most holy pure blessed and glorious lady the Theotokos and ever virgin Mary with all the saints let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God for yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. <laughs> Tafting a topi to paraclitu eftis, catevi epigis, os pereni di glossa, tamatita se fortis, de totus ranomistas anevis. To fosse pesti to paraclitu, de ton gosmo ne forti. Sad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen, and to the angels of angels. Amen. Let us celebrate with joy this final post-festal feast. O believers, for it is the Feast of Pentecost today, and the fulfillment of the promise and the appointed time. For on this day the fire of the paraclete descended to the earth immediately as in the form of tongues and illumined the disciples and made them initiates of heaven. The holy light of the Holy Spirit has appeared and illumined the world. Ετυπνεύματος <laughs> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And to the ages of ages. Amen. When the wellspring of the grace of the divine Spirit came down to those upon the earth and into fire bearing streams, parted noetically, it refreshed the apostles and led them to the light. The fire became for them a dewy cloud and rainy flame illumining them, and we in turn. Through them receive divine grace by means of fire and water. The holy light of the Holy Spirit has appeared and illumined the world. <laughs> Ik doe dat 
Ανάλυμ προσύψους, ουρανού θείαν ανάληψη, της Θεόπτες την δόξα σου καταπέψα συγκτήρμο, πνεύμα εύθες εν γεννήσας τις μαθητές, ο Θενός με κι η θάρα μου σουργική, ας είναι τρανολόγησαν, το Θείο πλήκτρο μυστικό σώτε απηχήματα και την οικονομία σου. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory to the angels of angels, amen. After your rising from the sepulcher, O Savior, and your divine ascension to the heights of heaven. You sent down on your disciples your glory, O good one, renewing in an upright spirit in them, O Christ. And therefore those men who saw God proclaim to all your sayings and your economy as if melodious guitars that mystically are played with the pick of the Spirit, O merciful Lord. Let us pray to the Lord again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, Theotokos, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. And blessed is your name, and glorified is your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Since my youth have many passions waged war against me, O oh my Savior, nonetheless, help me and save me. You, the haters of Zion, be put to shame by the Lord, for like thatch in fire, you will be completely dried up. Both now and ever and to the ages of the ages, amen. From the Holy Spirit to the streams of grace, well, for they irrigate everything created so that life be engendered. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. <laughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rests among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let 
us pray to the Lord our God that we may be deemed worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. <coughs> Peace be with all. And with your spirit. In the Holy Gospel according to St. John, let us attend. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were gathered for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O oh Lord, have mercy, blot out my many offenses. <laughs> Oh, 
O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious all praise, the apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our holy fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregor the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira, Spiridban, Bishop of Trimithus, and Nectarius of Pendopolis, the Wonder Workers, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Merkfly, and Theodore of Tyre, and Theodore the Commander, Aminas the Wonder Worker, of the Higher Martyrs, Caralambos, Letherius, of the Holy Glorious Victorious Martyrs, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, Ephemia, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiria, Kipa, Tini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of the Holy and God-bearing Fathers, of the Holy Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, we beseech you, most merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. By the mercy, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. When the Most High God, when the Most High God came down and confused the tongues, he divided the nations. When he distributed the tongues of fire, he called all to unity. And with one voice, we glorify the All-Holy Spirit. We glorify the All-Holy Spirit. Speedy and constant consolation give us, your servants, O Jesus, when our spirits become despondent. Do not part from uh, our souls when we are in trouble, nor be far from our minds when we are in peril. But draw near to us, draw near, O you who are everywhere. And as you are always with your apostles, so also unite yourself to us who long for you, the compassionate, so that united to you, we may extol and glorify your all Holy Spirit. And glorify your Holy Spirit. On the twelfth of this month, we commemorate our righteous and God-bearing fathers, Anophrius the Great of Egypt and Peter of Athos. Going beyond the command to, uh, to own but one tunic, thou didst pass thy whole life in nakedness, O Father. Christ reacheth his right hand to thee also, O Peter, and thou art saved, pulled out of the sea of life naked. On the twelfth, untunicked, Onufrius and Peter from life were taken. On this day we commemorate the holy martyr Antonina of Nicaea. Let the briny sea become a bridal chamber to conceal the Lord's bride, Augusta Antonina. On this day, we commemorate St. John the Soldier. The soldier Do John now danceth on high in heaven in the place where there are the armies of angels. On this day, our righteous father Julian in the quarter of Dagathus, or Dagasus, reposed in peace. Buried is Julian, who is a great father, who being full of days, hath reached the grave's threshold. On this day, our righteous Father Zeno re reposed in peace. With God is Zeno, as he had hoped and looked for, for hope maketh not ashamed, as it is written. On this day, St. Trophilius, Bishop of Eucosia in Cyprus, and disciple of St. Spiridon, reposed in peace. Nigh unto the Most High, Trifilius standeth, beholding the Most High's thrice personal splendor. 
On this day, we commemorate Saint Anna, great princess of Kashin. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Asenius of Konovets. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Onufrius of Mali. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Onufrius Inoxentius of Vol Vologda. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Stephen of Comel. On this day, we commemorate our righteous fathers, Bassian and Jonas of Solovki. On this day, the eighth Sunday from Pascha, we celebrate Holy Pentecost. In a violent wind, Christ distributes to the apostles the Spirit in tongues of fire. On one great day, the Spirit is poured out on the fishermen. By the intercessions of the holy apostles of Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. where God was. Obtaining divine inscriptions, he promulgated God's law for cleansing his, cleansing his mind's eye. He saw the only one who is and was given knowledge of the Holy Spirit. In Spirit of salvation, 
Now when the apostle is creating clean hearts, and in the believers is renewed, is renewed upright. For as it is written, your commandments are light and peace. Let Godly servants who were cast into the burning fiery furnace, sang hymns to God who transformed the fire and made it like a moist whistling wind were blowing. They cried out to you, O Lord our God, of our fathers you are blessed are you. Instruments were played discordantly demanding. Everyone fall down before the gold, lifeless image. Rousing the faithful now to sing with reverence. You are blessed. Equipotent on origin, a trinity is the luminous grace of the Spirit. Unconsumed by fire was the burning bush on Sinai, revealing God to prophet Moses, who was weak in speech and slow of tongue. And zeal for God kept the, the three young men unscathed by fire and led them to compose the hymn. Oh, all you works of the Lord, sing a hymn to the Lord and exalt him beyond measure unto all the ages. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord, emblematic of the triluminous tri Godhead, releasing bonds and damping flames of old, 
the servants extolled the Lord and invited all created nature to bless and to exalt beyond measure. The only omnific Savior, his benefactor. Θεοτόκο και μητέρα του φωτό εν ύμνη στη μόντε μεγαλίνο με. Σαν να σα μητροπάρθενον κλαίος, 
Apangare vini to ne vlalom stoma, pri trevoru steni se melpinacios, bilingia venus apasuton topon, no ineosense sinfonos doxazome. Leo tocos rejoice, Queen of all and the glory, of mothers and virgins there is no eloquence, there is no hymn, no poetry that can worthily honor you. And when we think about your childbirth, every mind is dazed, therefore we all glorify you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Most holy Theotokos, save us. To you, O Lord. The powers of heaven praise you and offer you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Praise Him, all 
αυτόν επί της δυναστίας αυτού εν ήτε αυτόν κατά το πλήθος της μεγαλοσύνης αυτού παράδοξα σήμερον είδον τα έθνη πάντα εν πόλη δαβή ότε το πνεύμα κατήχθεν το Άγιον ο εμπειρήνες γλώσσες καθώς ο Θεϊγόρος Λουκάς απευθέξατον πισήγαν συνδυγμένον τον μαθητών του Χριστού αγένε το οίκος κατάπε περωμένης βιαίας πνοής και πλήρωσε τον οίκον που ήσαν καθήμενοι Πάντε σύξαν τον εφέγγεστε Ξένης ρήμαση, ξένης δόγμαση Ξένης διδαόγμαση της Αγίας Φριάδος Praise him with the sound of trumpet Praise him with the harp and lyre Today all the nations in the city of David saw a paradoxal thing when the Holy Spirit descended in fiery tongues according to the utterance of Luke the theologian. For he said when the disciples of Christ were gathered together, a sound came like the rush of a mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they all began to speak with strange words, strange dogmas, strange teachings of the Holy Trinity. <laughs> Το πνεύμα το Άγιον ημενάει και αισθηκέστε ούτε αξάμενον ούτε πασόμενον αλλά πατρί και Υιό συντεταγμένον και συναριθμούμενον ζωή και ζωοποιούν ως και φωτός χορηγών αυτά αγαθών και πηγή αγαθότητος Θεού πάρτι γνωρίζετε και ιοδοξάζετε και παραπάντων γινώσκετε μία δύναμης, μία σύνταξης Μία προσκύνηση τη Αγία Τριάδο. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is light and fire and a living noetic fount, spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding, <coughs> good, upright, noetic ruling, purging offenses. God, God and defying, he is God and defying, he is fire issuing from fire, uttering, inciting, distributing gifts of grace. Through him the prophets and the apostles of God and the martyrs <coughs> all are crowned. Strange to hear, strange to see, fire distributed for the apportioning of gifts.
It says, our God always now and ever to the age of the to the end. May the Lord direct your steps in every good work. Son despotas.